Hi, welcome to Mind Utopia. I'm Mara. Today I want to come to you and talk to you about something that I've been pondering for a while. It's why I don't make videos all that often anymore, is because I tend to think about things for a really long time before I record them, and by the time I get around to record, thinking about recording stuff, maybe it's not as important to other people, or maybe it's not important, you know, maybe I've like worked it out of my head, I don't know. Anyway. Today I'm coming to you by something about something that I hear and something that I personally have said um, in the weight loss community before, which I think is total bullshit, and that is don't compare yourself to other people. That is just a bullshit answer, a bullshit thing to say when someone says, oh, I looked at so-and-so's videos and they're doing so much better than me. And you know why it is? It's because the only people that don't compare themselves to other people are like complete narcissists. People who think that they are the best about everything. Um, and so it's completely natural to compare yourself to other people. The problem is, or the thing that you need to do, that what I should say to people is, feel free to compare yourself to other people, but do it in a positive way. or Use it as a positive change for your own journey. So you may look at someone's feed and say, well, they had weight loss the same time I did and they've lost 100 more pounds than I did. Well, let's think about some things, some factors as to what goes into weight loss for different people. Age, genetics, um, what they are actually eating versus what you're actually eating. Do they exercise? Do, they not, do you not exercise? So when you see someone's videos or Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat or whatever it is you're watching, look at them and think they can be a role model for you. You don't have to compare yourself to someone and say, oh, I wish that I was like them. I wish that I was better. Just try. I mean, I might compare myself to um, my VSG confessional. Hey. Um, but she is, uh, she is like over 10 years younger than me. She's way more active than I am. Um, she also has had plastics. You know, she and I had our surgeries within like a week of each other. And she's lost a lot more weight than I did. And our starting weight was fairly close to each other. But I can look at her and think, okay, she is, she can be a role model for me. I may never get to the same weight that she has because of these factors. Because her genetics are different than mine. Her age is different than mine. What she ate is different than what I ate. Um, she did certain things that I didn't do. I mean, her lifestyle is a lot more active than I. And she wasn't in a car accident. And you know, there's lots of things that you can look at. Everyone can be an inspiration to everyone else, no matter how much weight they've lost, no matter what they personally have gone through. You know, I may, I could look at um, Foodie Turn Sleevey. She has lost more weight than I have, but she's also been much stricter about her food intake. She's younger than I am. She's going to go, you know, she's going to compete in a triathlon. These are all amazing things that she has done. Um, you know, I'm never going to compete in a triathlon, uh, but I can look at her and say, or, you know, someone else, it doesn't have to be her, just saying, you know, you find someone and look at them and say, we've lost similar amounts of weight, but her body composition is different than mine. You know, um, she has smaller legs than I do, and she doesn't have the flabby arms that I do, but she goes to the gym. She works out. That can be an inspiration. So feel free to compare yourself to everyone else. But don't take it as a bad thing. Don't give up what you're doing or what you want to do just based upon someone else losing more weight, looking different, looking better, feel, looking, presenting that they are in a better headspace than you are because you don't know what's going on with them. Really, you don't. No matter how many people come on and tell you everything that is going on with them and most of us really don't i mean there's very few that come on all the time and say here's the shit that i'm going through here's you know maybe like experiencing nirvana is one of those people where she comes on and she tells you as much as she feels comfortable with but there's things that she doesn't tell you because you're not recording her life 
24-7 and even if you were you're that's only from the outside only gonna tell you what she wants to tell you or the other other people who only tell you what they want to tell you and we're probably even if we do talk about anxiety or depression suicidal thoughts alcoholism whatever it, that's only a snapshot of what we're really going through so look at all these videos look at all these Instagrams look at all these people and think I'm comparing myself to them because they're on the same type of journey that I am but think also age genetics what surgery they've had um, what they actually eat what exercises they do what not even just what surgery they had but you I mean like I don't know exactly what size my stomach is because my doctor said well I took out about um, so each of our surgeries can also be you know there can be other people that have sleeve surgery like I did but they might have lost 90% of their stomach maybe I lost 70% of my stomach maybe my stomach held four cups before the surgery and maybe theirs held 10 cups before the surgery I mean how do you know right we are all here for each other and just be aware be conscious of the fact that yes it's perfectly natural to compare yourself to others use it as an inspiration realize that people are all different no matter what and it's a great thing this is a great tool to come on and talk to this about this stuff so be positive be as positive as you can about your journey don't be depressed because someone else is better better at it than you are and I hope you guys are all great I love you all bye